One of the most common problems in landscape drawing is actually really easy to fix, and it's the way that the tree connects to the ground. Typically what happens is you draw a tree, and the tree basically just ends when you hit the ground. Um, the basic solution is to realize that there are roots under the ground, and that the root system carries as much weight and is usually just as extensive as the tree is above ground. So it's fine to start with the trunk and everything, and it's fine to separate the trunk from the ground. But when you do that, um, look for any disturbances under the ground where the roots are kind of pushing up or keeping the ground from eroding. Maybe there are some exposed roots if there's hard ground under it or if the roots are kind of, or have um, eroded around them and everything. So you'll be able to extend that pretty far and you can over exaggerate that and bring it way out into the landscape. Um, and what this does is it creates a sense of overlap on the ground and it makes it seem like the tree is connected to the ground under the ground and that it also gives your ground a little bit of interest. And as you begin to develop your image, that's going to help a lot. Your solution part two is to actually use some cross contour lines and describe um, how those roots are um, curving and pushing the ground up in more than just one direction. So you're creating basically sort of two systems of overlap when you do this and it creates a really successful um, root system to the tree and sets you up for a great landscape.